good architecture is strong. Rike Niyamamoto, the 2024 Prisker Prize Award winner, said this. Every family is inside of the, the community, but they are independent. So threshold is really important to the two relations. One is community relation, one is family. In the world of design, architects are always led with stress and challenges. Amidst all of this chaos, there are certain architects whose visions have already crossed boundaries of mere aesthetics. Riken Yamamoto is one of them. His architectural pursuits are deeply connected with the sense of community, which are way more than his own artistic pursuits. Today, we'll discuss the narrative behind Yamamoto's triumph and what led to his success. Hi guys, welcome to this newest video. So for this newest video, as we discuss, we are going to talk about the life of Riken Yamamoto, who is the 2024 Priscus Prize winner. So before we jump into what his design style is or what he has done for the community, let us jump back to his original roots or where he was born. So he was born in 1945 in Beijing, China, and his family relocated to Japan at the end of the war, which marked the beginning of a journey shaped by resilience and introspection. It was around this part of his early career that he understood the deep and profound relationship of different objects in the public and semi-public and the private spaces and he understood the community sense in the architectural field. If you look at all of his architectural creations, you will notice that all of them redefine the boundaries of community-centric design and all of them contains these two particular concepts in mind. Number 1. Community-focused design Yamamoto's work emphasizes the importance of community and shared spaces, believing in creating architectural spaces that foster harmony and social relationships while respecting individual freedom in the most common and truest sense. Number two, blending private and public spaces. His design, unlike a lot of architects, blends the realm between the public and the private spaces, aiming to break down the traditional notion of privacy and promote interaction between neighbors. Now, in terms of design inspiration, Yamamoto draws inspiration from two certain styles. One is Japanese makia, and the second one is Greek Aiko housing styles, which encourages and incorporates elements of community engagement a lot. If you are talking about some of the notable projects which Yamamoto made, these are some of the ones. Gazebo of 1986, his own home designed to promote interaction between neighbors through terraces and rooftops. Nagoya Zoka University, the circle at Zurich Airport in Switzerland, and some of the other ones which are there on the screen right now. Now to conclude today's video, in a world where there is too much chaos, too much urbanization out there, Reiken Yamamoto stands at the rear of hope which features and caters to a lot of the community out there and tries his best on the community aspect of the design so that there can be a lot of interaction between the public and the same public and the private areas which in turn in an urban area leads to a much much brighter future if you found this video helpful in any sort of way then do make sure to like this video comment down below what you guys think of it what kind of videos we should make with that being said i'm fitting signing from Super Control. we'll be back with a new video soon